So the Redmi K20 Pro is here and I've been spending quite some time with it. Now one of its features is the fact that it has an advanced 8 layer graphite cooling solution. Now, the Snapdragon 855 by itself is a powerhouse of a chip and can pretty much run anything thrown at it with ease. So how helpful is this cooling solution? Well, that's what I aim to test out in today's video. Hey guys, Ash here, you're watching C4 Retech. If you do find this video interesting, consider turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So basically, when you push the chip in your phone, say you render a video or more commonly play a game, it causes the chip to heat up so your phone heats up and to counter this, you know, the performance, it kind of gets throttled back that causes the heat to drop and, you know, things go back to normal. Now, alternatively, when the heat goes up, it can be dissipated by better cooling solutions. One of this happens to be liquid cooling. So when you liquid cool a chip, the heat gets removed fast. So theoretically, your phone should be able to sustain peak performance for a longer period of time. So that's the theory here. So how do we test this? So for this, I decided to pick a phone that does not have liquid cooling, but has a Snapdragon 855 chip. The regular OnePlus 7, cause the 7 Pro that has liquid cooling. Next, I needed a compound benchmark app, one that can push the chip inside. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run Antutu over and over again on both phones and see if the numbers are stable or they drop, how it performs, how the phone without liquid cooling performs. Is that a difference? So let's start. At the end of the first test, the OnePlus 7 score is 370,000 points. The Redmi K20 Pro score is about 340,000. Now, I know some of you guys are gonna say, hey, I saw the other video somewhere, this phone scored much more, much less. Now, forget about the numbers themselves. Now, the build you are on is responsible for numbers. Sometimes, especially with MIUI, there is some variance with builds. The point here is what the second round scores and the third and the fourth. You know, can that initial number sustain? That is what we've got, we are going to be checking out. At the end of the second run, the OnePlus 7 score actually went up a little bit, 373,000. The Redmi K20 Pro dropped to 301K. Interesting. On to run 3, OnePlus 7, 371,000 points, it is staying stable. The K20 Pro has bounced back a little bit, 311k. Run 4, this is kind of interesting. The OnePlus 7, it's still remaining solid, 371K. Well, the K20 Pro, it's now bounced back quite well. In fact, it's better than the first run at 346K. So it's a little inconsistent here. So let's do a final run to see how things stand. Run 5, OnePlus 7, again, solid as ever. It's remained constant at 370K. The K20 Pro, it's dropped again, and it's 309K this time. So now, if you've noticed after every run, we kept checking temperatures. The reason I decided to do that is to verify that neither phone was getting unreasonably hot. Sometimes brands end up cheating with benchmarks. OnePlus has been guilty of this in particular in the past where they detect benchmarking apps and remove the thermal limits. So in these cases, the chip might continue being pushed despite uh, getting really hot. That's not indicative of real world performance. But as we saw here, the temps kept increasing with both phones over the hour, but neither got unreasonably hot. The K20 Pro ran marginally cooler than the OnePlus 7. So what have we learned here? 
Cooling solution on the K20 Pro might not be a huge advantage for it. OnePlus seems to be doing great handling heat despite not having any fancy liquid cooling. Despite five continuous runs which were filmed over almost an hour, it's heartening to see the OnePlus 7 still have very stable numbers. Now this isn't to say the Redmi K20 Pro isn't a good phone or anything, it's excellent, it's great value, it just feels like graphite cooling isn't really, do isn't really doing much at all. So I guess that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys liked the video. I just wanted to do something different with this phone. I just wanted to, I, I, this was a topic that I found interesting. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So thumbs up, thumbs down, based on whatever you felt about it, subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And hey, I'm giving away the K20 Pro if you've not checked out information about that. You can find information in the description below. So check it out. And you've been watching C4 Retech. I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.